Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to put grip tape on a scooter deck. So I'm going to be using the Longway Kaiser, um, and I haven't actually seen anybody do a tutorial with the Kaiser where they actually show you like how to cut out the holes um, on the Kaiser. And I know a lot of people would find that helpful, so I'm going to do that in today's video. So let's get into it. So first things first, what you need. So you're going to need some Allen keys and maybe span or something to take your scooter apart and get the wheels and brake off. So you're going to need some scissors and a knife for cutting. You're going to need a pencil or something like that for marking. So I'm using a white pencil because it's sharp on the grip tape. You're going to need, well, of course, your grip tape. Now you've got everything you need. Um, let's start. So the first step is to take apart your scooter. So I'm just going to do that now. So like take off your wheels, take off your bars and fork and brake. And I'll see you when that's done. So I've now taken my scooter apart. And I just want to mention that it is important to take your brake off when you do grip tape. Because it will make it a lot easier to grip the scooter so the next step now is to take off the grip tape so if you want to start off just by peeling a corner and then you can just peel the whole grip tape off so once you've done that you're then just going to want to give your deck like a wipe over and a clean to make sure the new grip tape can stick um and then it's time to put the grip tape on so i'll see you again when the grip tape's off and ready to put on the new one So I've now got the old grip tape off, it wasn't as hard as I was expecting, so now I'm just going to um, wipe it down and then we're ready to put on the new grip tape, so I'll do that quick, can you? So the next step now is to take your new grip tape and mark how long you're going to want it. So because I'm only doing from here to here, I'm only going to want it up to that white line, so let's cut it. So now you're going to want to take your scissors and cut your grip tape down to the right length. So I've cut mine down now, so I'm just going to stick it on and then I'll get into the next step. So now the grip tape is stuck on, and now you're just gonna wanna take a knife and cut along the edge like that. So first you're gonna wanna get an off cut of grip tape, and then just do it like that to make the edge like even mark. And then you just run along it with the knife and it will cut the edge down. So this piece of grip tape is pretty small anyway, and it only just fitted, so I won't have a lot to do. But yeah, so that's the next step, and then there's only a couple more steps um, including cutting out the holes and then we're finished so let's do that now there we go so now i've just cut the edges off so now i'm just going to like just push it down make sure they're in and then let's move on to the holes so the next step is to cut out the holes so there is six holes in here and so what you're going to want to do first is just poke a hole through them with the knife and just cut to the edge of the hole and then same on the other side and then you're going to want to go like that and just basically same what you did around the outside of the deck maybe cut a little slit in here which is out to bend and then you just literally get your off cut of grip tape again and then just go around the edges so that you mark out where the hole is and then you can just put your knife in there and then cut it out like this so you can probably see that but i'm just literally cutting around here like that so you're going to want to lift up from your slit and cut in there out to the edge and then just go in the edge and then just use the outside of the deck to guide you around the deck and then once you get out to the edges you're going to just use a knife to just cut around the edge of the hole like that so that's one little bit done now So now I just have the rest of the hole to do and then I'll check back in with you when I've done the hole so yeah so now I've cut the holes out um the last step is the brake holes so that's just there and there so what you want to do is you're just going to want to get the knife and just poke a hole in there in both of them and then you can cut around them the same as you did on the holes here so 
we'll do that and then we finish cutting and I'll show you the final step. So now I've cut out the brake holes and finished it, we've pretty much fin we've finished with all the cutting. So the next step now is just like to push it all down and make sure it's all sealed off so that when you ride and like do your first trick, the grip doesn't peel off again. So let's do that and then you've got to put the scooter back together and then we're done. So I'll show you that now. So what you're going to want to do for the final step is just this. Just make sure it's all pushed down on the edges and nothing's going to peel up. You're also going to want to make sure it's all just stuck down well. So that when you ride, your grip tape's not just going to come straight off again because after all this effort, that would be very annoying. So if you're doing it in the holes, make sure you don't cut yourself because sometimes they're sharp. But you just want to make sure all your edges are pressed down and that. So, and then you're good to go. And you just want to make sure the actual grip tape itself is all pushed on properly. And then you're finished. And now all you've got to do is put your scooter back together and then go ride. Right, guys, so we've now got the scooter back together with the grip tape on. And I'm just going down the skate pot now to get some clips with the grip tape. So just to film a little mini montage of the grip tape and get some riding clips. And yes, yeah, so I'll see you down the skate park. Kitchen middle finger to these bitches up, I cause I'ma do it my way, sit like the floor. 